Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6004-3. This is an accounting of the further developments of SCP-6004. A word from Director Alan Tibbles, January 15, 21. These have been some very hard months. Entire cities were annihilated. Countries damn near depopulated. Sites lost, anomalies escaped, truces made and broken. Friends, family and loved ones will never see again were killed or turned into animals. The veil's gone, the Foundation's resources have been drained on a failed project, and the world as we know it is pretty much over. But so are the attacks. SCP-6004 has revisited the site of its awakening, it hasn't hit a single city in weeks, and rain has stopped making forests. There is hope now, light at the end of the tunnel. This thing is going to sleep, we have excellent leads on how to keep it that way and we will ensure it never wakes up again. We have a lot of work to do. A new world to make, towns, cities and sites to rebuild. New facilities to build, full of new means of production for food and materials. Billions of people to amnesty size, history books to rewrite and effectively a whole new world to create. Luckily it isn't the first time we've done this, and likely not the last. We can do this. You can do this. It will likely be the hardest thing you will do for us, but I promise you, it will be worth it. Site 40 Director, Alan Tibbles Proposed Revisions to SCP-6004 Containment Procedures Following the discovery of the core nature of SCP-6004 through Aboriginal rock art, extensive research into the history of SCP-6004, interviews with various communities, including the Serpent's Hand, Mana Charitable Foundation and SCP-1000 instances, and the observed behavior of the entity throughout its period of activity, it has been determined that SCP-6004 is able to be contained through a rigorous and intensive reordering of global human development and practices. Along with the development of tools capable of inducing sleep in entities of similar scope to SCP-6004, the Foundation must influence human civilization in such a way as to encourage a lack of outward expansion into wilderness areas, increased adoption of clean energies such as solar, wind and nuclear power sources, and reduced reliance on unsustainable farming. In an effort to maintain societal progression, the Foundation and other organizations such as the Global Occult Coalition will be required to anomalously produce livestock, construction materials and other amenities to reduce land usage. Cities and townships will be encouraged to advance via subterranean and vertical expansion, and total expansion into wilderness areas to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis, but overall limited to below 30%. Current foundation efforts toward the rebuilding of settlements, rehousing of refugees and re-establishing power to affected areas have already lent themselves to these efforts. Areas not targeted by SCP-6004 were naturally selected to house refugees, and at no point did the entity attack solar or wind farms, leading to more widespread use out of convenience. Nuclear power was similarly used. It is believed that these sites and power sources will be ideal launching pads for the implementation of these proposed containment measures, and numerous locations suitable for the development of further cities, towns and foundation complexes have already been identified. These measures are extreme and will require the cooperation of both world governments and groups of interest, but in the face of SCP-6004 returning they are warranted until such a time as the Foundation is able to fully contain the entity. Reduction in SCP-6004 Hostility Post-2021 Behavior of SCP-6004 By Dr. Kate Lloyd Abstract Since the conclusion of 2021 SCP-6004 has displayed significantly less aggressive tendencies when compared to earlier behaviors. It is hypothesized that this is due to two main contributing factors, that the revised containment procedures have appeased the entity, and that it has essentially achieved the majority of its goals following its awakening. 
Each of these factors are evidenced by several observations and statements. Based on these factors and SCP-6004's continued behavior, it is projected that the entity will soon return to a sleep state. Effectiveness of Revised Containment Procedures Towards the end of 2021, the Foundation implemented revised containment procedures designed to appease SCP-6004, based on Australian Aboriginal Dreamtime law. Since the implementation of these new procedures SCP-6004 has been significantly calmer having been observed ignoring multiple foundation rebuilding efforts and not attacking a single human settlement and appearing non-hostile during this time. The following examples point towards this behavior being the result of these revised containment procedures. On the 19th of January 2022, SCP-6004 arrived at Site 40 via the coast, raised its head from the sea and observed the site for a period of six minutes. This event was witnessed by Corporal Erwin Porosus of Survey Team 40, who was participating in a training exercise at the time. When asked for a summary of the event, he stated the following. I was holding up a log for my team when it came, raised up out of the sea. The whole time it was staring at the building, like it was looking at it before it even came up. Everyone was scared, we heard about 19 and that gawk base thought it was here to do the same. But it didn't do anything. It just stared at us. The base first, the power systems building, us training, the director out on the observation deck, the shipload of guns pointing at it. Everything, just taking it all in. It felt like we were being judged, you know. You could feel it even more than you could see it. Then after a minute, it flicked out its tongue, turned around and swam away. In addition to the above, SCP-6004 has been observed spending a great deal of time at the area formerly housing the Gork's advanced weapons facility. Despite multiple attempts to dig out lake beds and river sites, the rains generated by the entity have failed to produce lakes, rivers, or trigger plant growth as seen in other areas, with wildlife regurgitated by the entity all expiring within hours of placement. Previous models of SCP-6004's behavior suggest that such events would trigger violent outbursts from the entity, yet it has only responded by leaving the area. SCP-6004 then proceeded to the Amazon rainforest, where it remained for a further three days. Achievement of SCP-6004's Goals The other primary cause of SCP-6004's reduced hostility is likely a result of it achieving its goals primarily the reversion of the global environment to a state similar to that of pre-human habitation and the repopulation of various species of endangered and extinct flora and fauna. It has been observed that as global temperatures have fallen, SCP-6004 has appeared less aggressive. The same can be said in regards to global wildlife populations rising, and the reduction of air pollution. Beyond a reduction in the number of attacks carried out by SCP-6004, it has also been observed that the entity has not caused the anomalous growth of vegetation or regurgitation of wildlife since 13 February 2022. While attacks on human structures and settlements can be seen as an expression of aggression on behalf of SCP-6004, the generation of forests, wildlife, lakes and rivers is exclusively motivated by returning its environment to a pre-human state. The cessation of this behavior indicates that the entity is satisfied with the current world state. Other Behaviors of SCP-6004 Following its visitation of the Amazon rainforest, SCP-6004 has been sighted resting within large bodies of water multiple times. Its movements have become noticeably more sluggish, displaying signs of fatigue including yawning. It has been heading in a consistently west-southwesterly direction, with predictive models placing it as heading towards the Wallamai National Park, where it was first discovered. Conclusion Barring unforeseen outcomes or provocation of SCP-6004, it is estimated that it will return to the site of its discovery by late October 2022 and enter a period of hibernation. As such, Project Mongoose research is being utilized in the development of technologies capable of ensuring that SCP-6004 remains in hibernation, which will be installed on location when ready. Following this, 
It's possible that the widespread use of amnestics on global populations may allow the Foundation to rebuild a veil of secrecy and resume its previous mission. Addendum 6004-6 Following the containment of SCP-6004, attacks on humans by wild animals have continued to be much more frequent than before its discovery. These attacks have universally occurred within newly formed wilderness areas and display the use of teamwork beyond the capabilities of species involved, with some cases involving the cooperation of multiple differing species. However, these attacks have become less frequent as time progresses. Eyewitness statements have observed that where animal species would previously chase or attack any individual found within wilderness areas, animals have more frequently been seen to observe people at a distance, often withdrawing after a short period of time. Attacks by these animals can be broadly categorized into five categories. Rabid, provoked, defensive, predatory and guided. The former four varieties are considered typical and not of foundation concern excepting the fifth variety. Guided attacks are believed to occur under the influence of SCP-6004. The working theory is that SCP-6004 is in whole or in part responsible for this behavior, and it may involve lingering influence associated with its apparent desire to prevent human impact on natural environments. While attacks of this nature were previously observed to be immediate and coordinated, more recent encounters appear to have been limited to individuals who were in the process of activities discouraged by current containment procedures, such as land clearing, waste dumping, and recreational hunting. Given the trend of observation before attack it is believed that sustainable, low-impact activities within wilderness areas will soon be safe for the civilian population to engage in, along with low-impact construction. Thank you for tuning in, we hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.